Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me for today's episode of Crafting with Class. Today, I'm sharing some projects with the Diamond Press K Cup Carrier. This is what I'm going to be uh, showing you how to make today. This is the double carrier, and I hope you enjoy. Okay. The carrier, as all diamond press things, come with color instructions, which actually I really appreciate. In the instructions, part two is probably the most important part. It tells you how many of each you need if you're going to make one, right? But I'm making a double one today. So underneath, I always write down if I'm going to modify it in any way, this is what I'm going to do. So you need two of the front bottom, four of the side, two handles, and then one insert. If you're going to make a double one, then you're going to need two inserts. Now, this part is super important. So the direction of this die matters. Not only do you have to make sure it's directional for if it's if you're using directional paper, but the die also has to be this way. So you need to take both things into account, which I didn't do, so you'll see later on. So for example, this is directional paper, right? So the text, you can't put it this way because it, then it's gonna come out you know, the wrong way. So you have to make sure that your paper, when you cut it, is going to be correct, um, placed correctly on the die. All right, so these are the four dies that you need to make the carrier itself. So I have two, of the side pieces and you do need to um, do mirror images of them when you die when you die cut them out so there's those two pieces there so this is how you will layer the paper if you're going to run it one time don't worry about that hole I, i'm using every bit of this paper because i only had one and that's the tab so it won't even show so there's one for the insert you have one pocket and then you have a uh, two of those back pieces. Um, one is going to be on the front and then the second one is going to cover up the back. But you're going to double this when you make, you know, the double carrier one, um, except for the insert, of course. And so let's get started. So as always, I always, always recommend with these 3D things is to go ahead and fold on all those crease lines. Use your bone folder so your lines are nice and crisp because that always helps for things to, you know, um, you know, pop if they need to or lay, you know, nicely, whatever the case. So first we're going to start off by adding some adhesive to this side tab. So this is the side tab connecting to the front bottom tab. And so I'm just using my um, mat to make sure that the edges are lined up. So then I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. So the flap is going to get glued to the side flap. So I'm going to add some adhesive and I'm using my preferred, which is the Nouveau Deluxe. I prefer to use wet glue for these kinds of things because I do not want it to fall apart and I want it to be able to hold whatever goodies I put in it. So if it looks like a little elephant, then you have it right so far. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and continue. So now we're going to go ahead and attach the back piece. So this is going to get attached like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some adhesive there. And then I'm going to attach that back panel. And I'm just going to, again, make sure that it's lined up. I always kind of use my mat to check that everything is, you know, level. And then I'm going to press it once I'm good to go. So now you have an even longer elephant trunk. <laughs> so now you're going to see how this box comes together. So I'm going to fold in the tabs and then lift that back panel. And then you can see how it comes together. All right. So now let's go ahead and get ready to glue. So as I mentioned, you have that hole there, but it won't matter because this is going to be hidden by the back panel because this is going to slide into place like this. So I like to, um, once I have it all lined up, then I like to burnish that in place with my bone folder. So I'll be using my bone folder to make sure that is uh, sealed nicely. All right, so now we're going to do the other side just like that. 
So we're going to add some more adhesive to the flap and then attach it just like so. I mean, super, super easy. This box, I mean, once you figure it out and once you do one, I mean, it really is, you're like, oh, okay. Um, it comes together really, really easy. Um, for this box, definitely recommend double-sided paper. Um, I'll show you what it looks like when it's just, you know, single-sided paper. But since you see the inside and everything, you know, double-sided is probably a nicer way to go because then you have the inside decorated. Now you have these two little front flaps. So I'm going to add adhesive and then you have the very front little flap. So that's going to tuck in and hold these flaps together. So I'm just going to do these at the same time. So I'm going to line up the edges, making sure that the edges are aligned and then just flip that little piece down. And this holds those two flaps in place. And there you go. You have your little box assembled, like so easy, super, super cute. Look, look now. This is where if you're going to do one, you're going to all you need to do is take that second back piece and glue it on the back and then it is done. So that's if you're going to just do one. Now for your little insert, again, you just fold on those four lines that the score lines the die makes for you and you tuck it in and then you tuck your little treat. So look at how cute. All right, so that just pops in nicely. Okay, so here I have the pieces for the second one. So I just went ahead and assembled it since you already saw how to do it. And then all we need to do is marry those two boxes together. So I'm just gonna take the insert out so I can re reach in there and make sure that the glue adheres and is attached to the box. So I am just going to put glue all over the back. So sorry, I am out of frame. But you just add your glue. I like to make sure I get those edges, especially in the corners, really, really well. And then just kiss them together. So I'm going to go ahead and just lie, make sure everything's lined up, of course, and then just press it together. So just make sure everything's lined up before you really, really press. But once everything is in place, then you want to give it a good squeeze. So I'm just sticking my um, hands in there making sure that it's uh, together so I'm just going to go ahead and squeeze it together let that glue set and then we'll be good to go so this is the assembly for that double box I mean how cute so so cute and you can put any kinds of treat in here you know you don't have to do k cups that's just if you want to because you have the little insert but if you have other treats that you want to Put in here you definitely can this little box is so cute I really don't even know why I slept on it because I just picked this up the very last time they had it available all right so I use the stamps from the set that says have a cup of cheer and I die cut it using the tag that also comes in the set and I cut a second tag using some scrap paper that I had left behind I die cut this tag also from the die that comes from the set and I'm going to decorate it with this pattern paper circle that is actually just the inside portion of the insert that I'm going to use here and then these two cute little circles that says happiness is a cup of coffee and North Pole Coffee Company so cute and you have so many different options for these it's so so cute all right, so I'm going to go ahead and attach them together. So I'm just going to speed this up. So I'm going to go ahead and start with one of those. Now I'm going to put this one inside so that you can see it through the little opening of the insert so that when the recipient takes out the cake cup, there'll be like a little hidden message type of thing. Using the glue will help so that I can arrange it and put it exactly where I need it to go. And then I can just press down and adhere that. So look at how cute that looks. I just think that's a nice touch. So I'm going to go ahead and attach the other circle to the circle tag. Line it up. So I'm kind of lining up where the coffee image is with the hole. And then I'm going to place the other circle on the back. So I'm going to attach that. 
just like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and arrange the tags and think about kind of where I want them to go. So I am going to go ahead and place the circle on top and then the pattern paper and then the little message. I'm going to go ahead and grab some twine, thread it through the hole, through all three tags, and then I'm going to attach it to the little carrier through the handle part. So this twine is actually from Create 9. So I'm going to fold it in half and then thread it through the back of the hole, through the front, and then through, oh, sorry, I'm out of frame, but here you can see. So then I'm going to pull up on it. I'm going to arrange it and then really pull up on it. And so by pulling up really, really tight, that's going to kind of hold it together so that they don't move around so much. So there I'm going to tie a little knot so that I can tie a simple bow. And that is how that is going to go. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of fiddle with it a little bit until I get it just how I want it. Okay. All right. So after I'm done fiddling, I'm going to go ahead and decorate the rest. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the back. I guess this would be the back. I'm going to attach some foam adhesive, pull off the liners, and then just stick that onto the back. So this is from Anna's collection. I have no idea what kind of flower that is. Is that an iris? I have no idea. And so, but it's a Christmas flower. And so I'm going to attach those two there. Now I ended up changing my mind about placement and I kind of wish I hadn't because I kind of like how that looks there. But as you can see, I moved it over to the right and put the little one on the left. But eh, it's fine. And so there it is. So there's the front and then here's the back. And now I can put all of the goodies inside that I have picked out. I am putting in this holiday blend cake cup and then I got some Ferrero Rocher's so I will also tuck those in and a Milano dark chocolate cookies and then look at these Grinch kisses aren't they so cute so I'm going to go ahead and attach it with just a little bit of tape and so I'm going to tuck the other the cookie and the little Ferrero Rocher in the other one and that is it. Isn't this so cute? It's an inexpensive little gift, but you know, presentation counts for a lot when you're giving an inexpensive gift, I think. It just steps it up a whole lot. So let me share the other ones that I've made already. So here is this one, and that's got one of those coconut fur rochets. Those are my favorite. I love those because I love coconut. So yummy. And then here is another one. This is Christmas trees. And here you can see where the Christmas trees are not going in the right direction. So, you know, do as I say kind of thing. And then here is the next one. This one has those pine needles and pine cones on the pattern paper. So I found some of Anna's embellishments that kind of matched. And this has that dark chocolate for a rocher. And here is the next one with some holly leaves and poinsettias. So again, these boxes you can see are so easy, so easy. And you don't have to use K-cups with them. I mean, that's, you know, cute and everything, but it doesn't have to be. And then this one, I kind of went along with the paper and just did some silver holly leaves to decorate. And here you can see how this is... Um, single-sided paper so you can see the white inside I mean it's not terrible but since you do have a view of everything inside um, you know there you can see the white um, I think I don't know it's just nicer with double-sided paper but if you have single-sided paper it is not a deal breaker by any means and if coffee is not your thing you can get cocoa because the stamps even include things for cocoa so there's definitely options for everyone. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed a look at these projects and I hope this tutorial was helpful and gave you some inspiration to make your own crafty gifts for this holiday season. As always, thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing. Tell me what you think of this K-Cup carrier. I think it's amazing and so easy and cute. Until next time, bye!